What's going on, world? It's your boy, Gemini Brown here, back with another episode of Nalo Kicking Knowledge. Today, we'll be talking about the moon in the eighth house. I know this is one you guys have been waiting on. All right, so let's get right into it. So what's, what's the moon? The moon is our emotional response to things, how we nurture others and like to be nurtured in return. It represents the relationship with our mothers, our imagination, dream life, so much more. Eighth house. Eighth house is a really, really cool house. It's a really intense house. Um, it's known as the house of secrets, um, sudden events, unexpected events, shared resources, um, taboo, the occult, um, and, and so much more. So let's go. So when, when, as we know, right, as we should know, we have... When the when the moon gets into certain signs, it's it's considered you know really well like uh, exalted or debilitated, and the moon's debilitation occurs in Scorpio. All right, that's the sign. The eighth house is the original house of Scorpio. Okay, so your sign, your moon sign, is going to express itself in whatever kind of manner the sign uh plays to but if your moon is in the eighth house you're going to be having some very scorpio like feelings and experiences okay so the moon the moon in the eighth house makes your emotional nature very unbalanced okay and very chaotic in some instances, similar to the Scorpio moon, but this is more so your experiences here. All right. So it's hard. It's hard for you to find a place to put your emotions. Right. Especially, especially within people, because you one, you probably come off a little bit too intense. Then, depending on how your chart is, is made up, you might come off a little bit too detached. So there needs to be balance here, all right? So you, like I said, you can either be, you can either be that person who's too detached or too intense. The key is balance, and a lot of this probably developed from the relationship with your mother. Like I said, um, in the moon in the sixth house video, with that being opposite the twelfth house, this is you know the eighth house, the house of secrets as well. So it can show that your mother was some type of, you know, secretive person, all right? There it can show that, you know, you un you uncover lots of secrets in general whether it be occult wise or, you know, in a family sense. And that can also for some people out there lead to um finding out you were adopted. And for a lot of people this this brings them peace cuz they want to know why them. But ultimately when your moon's in the eighth house, you got to really just look at this like you're having a really, really karmic experience, all right? Because eighth house is, it's a lot of jewels there. And the things revealed in the eighth house only get revealed to certain souls. So um, with, with the eighth house also being the house of occult knowledge, this is where your peace of mind is going to come from, all right? This is a great, great position. Sun in the eighth and moon in the eighth, but really, really, really moon in the eighth because it's our mind. It doesn't matter what the rest of the chart looks like, okay? If you, let's just say you were Bill Gates, big time billionaire, CEO, computer, computer geek or whatever, right? Say you were Jay-Z, big time musician, uh, mogul, businessman. If that, I'm not saying these people do have moon in the 8th house. I'm giving an example. If their moons were in the 8th house, all that success would mean would be not as important if they didn't have a spiritual or a cult side to themselves. So if your moon is in the 8th house, I'm not telling you to go out there and become a tarot card reader or an astrologer or whatever. But I'm letting you know that that area of life, that arena is very much so where you will 
find your peace at. You will feel like, man, this is a missing, this is the missing part of me. All right. Because moon, moon is the subconscious and the subconscious communicates in subtle ways. So ultimately, everyone with the moon in the eighth house, you're going to be drawn into these experiences where you get, you know, uh, astrological reading or tarot card reading. It's just something that comes very, very natural to you. Now, like I said, the rest of the, the chart needs to be considered because there's other lessons to be learned. But this is where your balance is, is going to come from, from, from diving deep into that. Okay. And we can take this interest in the cult and use it into and, and incorporating into many different facets, facets of life. All right. Um, psychology is a huge one. Psychology is a, a huge thing um, with this placement because you really, really like connecting with people on a deep level and you're you want to know how the mind works all right in the different layers to a person so there there may there are many career fields but i would try to combine it i would try to combine it with um something something of the eighth house for instance right this is also the house of death right it's also the house of death physical death and spiritual death i know someone here who sells life insurance, eighth house Pisces moon. You know, when she brought that to my attention, I was like, man, that's really cool. But you, you get what I'm saying? That it's the house of death. She's dealing with life insurance along with the other skills. So that's just one, that's just one thing to, to consider. Now, this is the house of sexuality. All right. And the eighth house is intense sexuality. And it's it's things considered like taboo, not normal. So a lot a lot of things should go on here. Um, what I've seen is like moon, moon in the eighth house and masculine signs. Right. Because uh, fire uh, or I said masculine. Pardon me. Not I didn't mean to say masculine. I meant to say fire. Moon in the eighth house in uh, fire signs, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. This can produce, um, whether man or woman, you know, check your Venus as well, but it can definitely produce someone who is bisexual or homosexual, all right? Um, the mind is just really, really, cure and, and the, this is why I said the, the sign is going to give you more info, but the mind is uh, very passionate and, and, and really sexual, with this position so um that that insight can also lead you to just an overall psychological understanding of of humanity all right so keep this in mind guys like all your experiences because the eighth house experiences are tough they are very intense right but they are meant for you to learn this is how karma gets cleared so that's why I said, you know, psychology is great or life coaching, any, I mean, astrology, tarot card reading, because it's all experience. Experience helps you be a teacher or a healer or whatever, all right? It's all experience. So, as far, this is also, um, eighth house also represents um, uh, joint assets, like especially after marriage and the relationship with one's in-laws and things like that. This will greatly vary based on aspects and sign as well. All right. So what I've seen is more so in air signs, you know, more communicative signs. Uh, it opens up. Uh, it opens up the lines of communication um, with the in-laws and, and things like that. Uh, but like, you know, there's a downside to each one. So you got to pay attention to that. Like, for instance, if the eighth house moon is in Gemini, one could experience gossip, gossip through you know, uh, the spouses, family, things like that. Um, the, if the moon's in an earth sign here, uh, really, really good for, for saving and building up those, as, uh, those assets, but really, uh, check the aspects and things like that. And water, it's, you know, it's more of, uh, this is where it can be a bit of a, a, a struggle, you know, a bit of a struggle could be, you know, one will either really find 
family they never had in their in their spouse's uh family or it'll just be hell where they want to like keep their spouse away uh, you know away away from the their family and things like that kind of have them to themselves so those are just some some things to look at but overall um what i just want you guys if you have moon in the eighth house um i preach i'm i'm a you know a yogi I am one of those astrologers that I am all about that meditation. I'm all about putting in that work, the yoga and all of that. Because it really matters. It really, really matters. Eighth house, moon. That's all I can say to you. If you want the suffering to stop a bit, start meditating. If you're here watching this video, that's good already. You're, you know, you're satisfying your occult needs. Now there's a physical aspect that needs to... um. That needs to be cultivated and that's going to be that's going to be through meditation because your mind your mind will not be settled um w without that okay so you need to find you need to find something if you then say you're an aries moon right or you have a lot of aries energy um physical exercise overall can fit into your being your meditation or whatever but some something has to be done here all right so guys, this is my interpretation of the moon in the eighth house. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have subscribed to my channel, feel free to do so. Until next time, peace.